Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to go through the V2 suitcase and we have a little surprise for you. Popping up behind the suitcase is Alex, our designer. He's been with Decent since pretty much from the start and he will go through the features of the suitcase. So. Hello everyone, I'm Alex. I'm a product designer at Decent Espresso. Thank you for having me today. I'm happy to be here today to introduce our new suitcase V2. Basically, this new suitcase is designed for better travel experience and better protection. You can definitely see there's extra protection just from the outside. One of the main things I've seen is the corner pieces. From personal experience traveling, even though the D1 is protected inside, the corners do get a little bit of nick and, and a little bit of damage, but that's not uncommon for luggages. Here, I can see we've reinforced this area, which is great to see. Can we dive in a little deeper to what is happening with the design? Let's talk about the material first. So the suitcase itself, the material we slightly changed. The previous one used ABS material and the new one make a slightly upgrade with using the ABS plus PC mixing the two material together combining the strength and the toughness to reinforce the suitcase we're talking about the material we're really focusing on the protection of the case just to seeing on the top I can see we've got the four corners here so my observations is probably the most common place where we see damage on these cases mm. Are these made out of steel? We are using the aluminium because the lightweight. If we use steel, then that is quite heavy. So the size is similar to the first one, but you could put more items into the suitcase. That sounds pretty difficult, Alex. Like, you've got the same size case, but we've managed to squeeze more stuff inside. How yeah. is that so? Let's dive into the features. All right, so we're gonna flip this down. Before we talk about the inside of the suitcase, we talk about the top-down features on the top. So here you can see the hinge has been changed for easier to open and close the suitcase. And the second one is the handles has been changed to the recessed handle for reduce the shipping cost and to protect the handles get damaged. The third one is the handle. We changed to the premium and dual bolt has got the handle. So Paul, can you detach the wheels? Sure. There is a little switch here, and basically you just push this switch to the center of the box and remove. You can do for all of the wheels. I think Alex is going to show us something really cool with these wheels. I'll pass it over to you to go through the fork path and why it was designed that way. Why we use the detachable wheels? We want to keep the size as small as possible. Some people may notice the size is similar to the version V1, but when you detach the wheels, actually this is smaller. If you want to ship to another country, you detach the wheels and then the volumetric cost will be significantly reduced. This is saving the shipping cost and also the detachable wheels is easy for replacement. Because when we reduce the actual total volume of the case when we're shipping to you, that means that these come detached. How are we shipping the wheels to you? Let me show you. Okay, sure. Here you go. Paul, what's your feeling and first impression? I'm a very tactile person, so first thing I do is always touch it. The touch of it definitely feels a lot sturdier. Obviously, we used a foam last time, but this one feels a little bit like polystyrene, but more firm. The next thing is the hinge is a little bit different. It seems to be a little bit offset. The layout of everything is very convenient for you. I can see a lot of spaces in there and a lot of protections. Let's talk about the material first. Previously, we used this kind of foam, which is the PU foam. We decided to say goodbye with this foam. So uh, right now we use EPB foam and this is lightweight and strong. You just try it pick it out and see how sure. it is. Okay, so, oh, right. So it actually is the actual mold of this case. It molded into the shape that I guess you've designed. I'm a little bit confused because essentially we have the same size box, but the same size flight case, but we've managed to fit more in. We try to put more accessories into the suitcase V1. That is easier to have a breaking issue. So we changed the EPV foam. This EPV foam has a lightweight and impressive energy absorption. So that problem has been solved. Is there any example of the common uses of this material? Actually, it's widely used like bicycle helmet, uh, car cushion, bumper, there's all in included this kind of material because the feature I can totally see that if you could squeeze this foam feels a little bit like polystyrene comes back to its shape original form I guess that's what meaning by the energy absorption uh, why it's so useful for protecting our beautiful D1 I can kind of see that the layout has changed over here so why this is laid out this way so Paul let's go through the side of the accessory first Please? Yes, yes. You have a question about how we stop the detachable wheels yes, right? Yes, that's right, that's right. Here we go. 
We basically plot uh, all detachable wheels right here. This form is auto paint the wall to protect the water tank. Oh, so double form vector. Yeah, I, I like I, that. I have a sandwich, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So previously, we actually had the water tank alongside, well, within the D1 as it should be fitted. It was relatively safe because we wrapped it in bubble wrap and things like that. But now we're pretty confident that this will alleviate any damages. Not that we had that many anyway. Further improvements overall, and it's great to see this protection. And here is the electrical cables and the thermometer. You could put two items right here. And the next is the trip tray and the trip tray cover. Here is the drainage trip tray and you could also put the normal trip tray here. So it's accommodate two kinds of trip tray. Then here is the tablet stand with the tablet. I also create a USB cable slot. You could also put the USB cable right here. You may ask why I have to make it so deep. I noticed that some of the customer, they have a longer cable. So this is useful for them to put the longer cable right here, right? Yeah. The next is the screwdriver. The two screwdrivers right here, T10 and T20. I actually really like the setup here because if you're coming to set up, you would probably take this out first, power cable, fill water tank, and then add your drip tray, tablet, and then your cable. Everything's really flowing in terms of how you would set things up and has its own place, even including the tools in there because having the right tools when you're you know, doing a little bit of clean after the day, or perhaps you need to do a little tightening of a screw is all very important to make sure you're looking after the machine and essentially not stripping your screws as well. But I'm also curious what these two mystery items are. Let's go through what these parts are here. Yeah, the suitcase V1, we actually cannot store the mule jug and the temper, right? <laughs> right <Yes>. now, <laughs> in the suitcase V2, you could do that. Yeah, you could place a 600 mil mule jug. You could put the temper right in the mule jug. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, and it's a very clever use of the space. Yeah, that's not all. You could put one more basket underneath. Yeah, more baskets. You more can baskets. never have enough baskets, Ali. I guess this is here for extra protection. Actually, this is playing a role to hold head to steam one. Because we add the milk jugs and the tamper right here, if I didn't have any protection here, yeah. it could damage the steam one surface. I don't want people to have a lot of sketch line on the steam one, right? It's important protecting those parts. I guess we should take this out and see what's inside here, right? Yep. Oh, let's go. So we're just taking out the D1. First, we have to address the elephant in the room, which is this right here. How do we take this out, Alex? First thing first is you have to flip the back handles, then hold the uptake handle ah. so you could take it out. So much like the water tank, you take this out the same way. The detail on this is cool, the feel is excellent, and it feels like my own little travel case. So it's made out of the same material as inner foam? Yes. Right, let's take a sneak peek inside. Oh, so it looks very well laid out. I can see we got a port of filter, a basket. Oh, actually a funnel underneath the basket. The pump brake inside is packaging, which is cool to see. A blind port filter and the group head handle as well. Wow, so I see a lot of um, accessories being able to store in here. Are these accessories now coming with the D1? Basically, it provides the option to people if they want to include all the necessary items for traveling. You could place the pathway or not, you could place the funnel or not. This is up to you. There's more option for people who likes it. Yeah, it's kind of like your own little barista kit, right? Got your machine. Previously, it was only the machine and port filter and group head handle blind. But now we have the options to carry all the things or accessories that you will need for put preparation or very good consistent put preparation. Having that as an option without having to buy or carry an extra bag is a real luxury. Personally, having the tank on the outside, many times gone to pack the machine away and then found that I've left the water tank out, I have to take out the machine again. With this box, it's much easier to pack down away as well. I see this as a, a massive improvement in terms of usability. You would probably be more inclined to take your D1 out with this case. This is an awesome feature and it looks cool too. You could probably have it as a little display, it's, it's that cool. That's not all. This playing a role to protect the leg base. We noticed that like version one suitcase, some of the customer, they have an issue of the bending leg. Ah, right? yes, yes, yes. Because uh, like maybe there is uh, some bending leg during the 
travel and during the shipping yeah. to avoid this problem we add this kind of uh, accessory box right there you can have uh, more accessories and protecting here so I hope you like it <laughs> yeah that uh, seems to be a theme of this box is you know we've killed a lot of things with one solution protecting the water tank but also storage more storage of accessories but also protecting the leg base from metal fatigue extra protection from the accessories that we've included in that's very uh, confidence boosting if I am traveling with this stuff um, and Alex and, and congratulations because I think you've done a fantastic job here thank you and I'm sure everyone who is going to be using this uh, will appreciate the design and, and thought that is being set out to this so we really stress test this foam and new case out we're pretty happy to release this ready for the v145 and similar to the v1 version of the flight case all models will come in this case actually that leads up to my next question Alex XL and the double XL is slightly larger than the pro but from my understanding we've only got one mold of this foam yes how we gotta do that is ta -da! this is the insert for the D1 Pro if you buy a D1 Pro and we will include this insert for you so this phone right now is accommodate all models it's essentially like adding a piece of Lego onto your phone right and it's quite cool because he's got some dovetail joints here and I noticed these holes you were practicing moving these in and out was to, to pick these out is a little detail that I really didn't notice before sticking with the concept safety as always lightweight and of course we're fitting every model in here safely what a fantastic design and thank you very much for building this for the community alex i'm sure you guys will be very happy with this coming along with the v145 thanks very much for joining i'm paul and this is alex see you next time bye bye